Good morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Nalani, your happy health coach. I've been asked to share my story and perhaps it will be encouraging to someone. In 1996, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and I was told by more than one doctor that my only option was surgery. Thankfully, I did not have it. I was introduced to Dr. Valentine and he taught me to heal myself with no drugs, no herbs, and without a lot of vitamins. And I thought I was healthy. So that made me go back to school to learn more about nutrition and to learn more about the connection between nutrition and disease. And actually, I wanted to learn why it is that I got that diagnosis in the first place, because I knew I was healthy. I had been studying nutrition since 1968, telling other people how to eat, and yet I ended up with the diagnosis. Now you might be thinking, well, it's your genes. Guess what? Genes play a very tiny role, right? 2% to 10% at the most. And even if it were 10% my genes, those genes can be switched on or off with lifestyle. And I know that. So the question is then already, if it wasn't your genes and you were eating well, which is, I thought I was eating well, what's the deal? Well, when I went back to school, I learned so much more about the connection between nutrition and disease. And by the way, this is the long version <laughs> since I'm driving. And I learned, one of the things that I learned is that most of the foods that we eat today have lost up to 80% of their nutritional content. Now, I know that sounds really like hyperbole, but it's not. It's the truth. Um, there was even a report about that in, um, oh, what was the name of that magazine? The Guardian. Yes. Was it The Guardian? Anyway. Up to 80% of our nutritional content is not there for a very simple reason. And definitely this is the long version. <laughs> we have sprouts. We know that when sprouts are sprouting, they have about 25% of the nutritional content right there. And that's really, really good. However, the plant goes into a type of stasis where it comes to absorbing nutrients. And it's really using the energy to get larger and larger and larger. When it's about ready to fall off the vine, or maybe two or three days before it's ready to fall off the vine is when there is the rest of that exchange and the rest of that 75 to 80% of the nutritional content is absorbed. When are our fruits and vegetables picked, even the organic ones, when they're green and hard, so they can be transported without spoilage. And you can't blame them because we're not going to buy spoiled produce, right? However, what a simple solution. Let it ripen on the vine. So after healing myself of cancer, I was really a health nut. If you thought I was a health nut before, <laughs> I just knew I was healthy. I was juicing every single day because back then we thought juicing was the thing to do. Now we know better. And I was eating about 80% raw. And, um, you know, I was the food police. I just knew I was so healthy. With all of that clean eating, I still had so much inflammation in my body. And we know inflammation is at the basis of every disease known to man especially today we're talking a lot about inflammation right i lost range of motion in one of my hands because of that inflammation and that's when i was introduced to whole food concentrates that are what i call superior nutrition because of the way they grow it, they use family farmers, they have good control, there's no pesticides and herbicides, and they let it ripen on the vine. So it has all of this nutrition, and they even have the peel. So did you know that 80% of vitamin C is in the peel of an orange? I didn't know that until recently, actually. 
And sure enough, it was in there. It's in there. So I started eating these whole food concentrates. And I'm not going to tell you that it cured me because I'd be lying. There's no such thing as a cure. And as a naturopathic doctor, I know that. There is such a thing as healing. And the body heals itself when you give it what it's starving for and when you remove obstacles to healing. And sure enough, it did not happen overnight. But over time, after, oh, I don't know how many months it was. Uh, it was a while before I noticed that, wait a minute, I regained range of motion in my fingers. The arthritis was so far down. Um, and that's because I know I added it to an already very clean, very strong, healthy regimen. Adding, you know, with water and all the other things that I always teach, which are the five pillars of health. Sure enough, I regain range of motion in my fingers and I love dancing and working out and I take these two hour Zumba classes. Well, at least I used to. <laughs> oh, but now I'm taking other classes that have people stopping to rest. And I feel, wow, in a few, in a few weeks, I'll be 73 and I have the vitality that I had when I was in my 30s. And that's no joke. And I am so grateful that I have found this opportunity to flood my body with fruits and vegetables. And when I heard that it has been clinically proven, when I saw the research for myself, I mean, this is no joke research. This is the real deal research. And that there are at least four studies, maybe five, that prove that it protects your defense system, what people call your immune system. And the inflammation is way down, so much so that I don't even feel that um, the pain that I used to feel. So I am very grateful for that, truly grateful. And I am moving my car because somebody wants to go by. And I, uh, so that's my story. That's the long, 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 long version. I hope that it encourages someone. The body is an amazing self-healing entity. And when you give it what it's starving for and when you remove obstacles to healing, and a lot of times those obstacles are emotional as well. And so it's good for you to see someone who's professional who can help you with that. I hope that it was helpful to someone I am looking forward to hearing from you what fruits and vegetables have done for you. I know it's not sexy, it's not fantastic, it's not something new, but I'm telling you, fruits and vegetables have what we call carotenoids, and they are our only, hear me please, our only protection against free radical damage are the carotenoids from fruits and vegetables. So go out and get yourself some more fruits and vegetables. And if you're interested in knowing about those, those uh, powders that I spoke about, just let me know and I'll help you out with that too. Love you guys. Take care. Peace.